Just like on the German side, the Allies had a few tank cases up their sleeves as well. Although they weren't as successful in terms of tank kills, they were equally skilled. One of the most famous tank cases on the Allied side was Major Radley Walters. He would end the Second World War with a stunning 18 German tanks knocked out, being the ace of aces of the Western Allies. Sidney Valpy Radley Walters was born on the 11th of January 1920 in Gaspé, Quebec. In 1940, he graduated from the Bishop's College and in October of the same year, he was commissioned in the Sherbrooke Fusiliers, which at that time was still an infantry regiment. The Sherbrooke Fusiliers were later changed to an armoured unit and became the 27th Canadian Armoured Regiment Sherbrooke Fusiliers. In October 1942, he embarked for England. On June 6, 1944, Radley Waters in the Sherman 3 called Caribou rolled ashore on Juno Beach. The crew consisted of Radley Waters as the commander, Trooper Paul Paquette as the gunner. Trooper Paquette was however wounded during the liberation of Belgium, so Trooper James Love took his place. Accompanying them in the turret was loaded Jimmy McDougall. The driver's seat of the Sherman was taken by Lance Corporal Ed Herman and the assistant driver was Trooper Taylor. They were a part of the 2nd Canadian Armoured Brigade which provided armoured support for the 3rd Canadian Division. Initially when he landed in Normandy, the 24-year-old captain was a part of C Squadron. The day after the landing, on the 7th, Radley Walters would already knock out his first German tank. He knocked out a Panzer IV belonging to the 12th SS Hitler Jugend in the village of saint germain la blanche herbe Captain Rad, as he was called by his fellow tankers, quickly saw the horror of war and he later stated that the Canadians had a lack of combat experience and that that lack of experience got many killed. In the days after his first tank kill, Rad managed to knock out another two tanks near Buron. The 24-year-old tank commander scored his fourth kill of the war near Thaon when C Squadron was shifted towards Bretville l'Orgueilleuse to support the 7th Canadian Infantry Brigade. Rad and his crew knocked out their fifth kill just south of Bretville. And on the 13th of June, Radley Walters was appointed to acting officer commanding a squadron. He was also promoted to the rank of major. During the Second Battle of Buron, Radley Walters and his crew managed to knock out their sixth German tank. During the Normandy campaign, Radley Walters quickly recognized a flaw in the German Panther tank design, making it more easy to knock out. He encouraged his men to fire at the rounded gun mounted of the Panther tank. That way the shell could ricochet down into the substantially less armoured roof. On the other hand, he also noticed that the Sherman tanks he had at his disposal were vulnerable to the German anti-tank guns and mines. So he came up with a quick solution of putting sandbags on the floor of the tanks to protect the crew from a mine blast. He also encouraged his men to improve the armour of their tanks by adding extra layers of tank tracks and various other things. On the 21st of July 1944, Radley Walters and his 15 tanks of a squadron were in support of the Cameron Highlanders of Canada. The Cameron spotted several tanks to the south and west of the village of Saint André. Radley Walters and his tanks had taken up positions on top of Hill 67, just south of Caen, which gave a good overwatch position. But because of the pouring rain, the 24 year old Major could only identify the two groups of 8 and 6 Panther tanks when they were merely 280 meters away. Radley Walters' A squadron opened fire with no result and for over an hour both sides traded shots. Fortunately for the young Major, only one Sherman was lost. In order to break the stalemate, Rad ordered his men to go on the offensive. Under the cover of smoke, the 14 tanks of A squadron rolled towards the German tanks. A Sherman tank was knocked out in the main road but the 13 remaining tanks had gained a favourable position to fire upon the German Panthers. Eight Panther tanks were reported as knocked out, but in return another five of Rad's tanks were also knocked out of action. Another six tanks in the northeastern corner of the village were either knocked out or damaged. When B Squadron came up in the evening to relieve A Squadron, Radley Walters could only count six operational tanks. The next day, on the 22nd, the six remaining tanks found themselves fighting against 14 German panzers. The Canadians quickly fired upon the tanks and five of the German panzers were quickly destroyed, forcing the others to retreat. Later in the day, a Sherman Firefly was sent up to reinforce the battered A squadron. 
The Germans tried another assault in which they lost two panzers, but they knocked out yet another of Radley Walter's tanks in return. On the 8th of August 1944, Radley Walters and his A squadron found themselves on the chateau grounds in Gourminil. The party consisted of eight tanks, of which two were Sherman Fireflies. The chateau itself was enclosed by a large wall next to the main road. The tankers of A squadron cut holes in the wall to make excellent firing positions. To the north were the tanks of the Northamptonshire Yeomanry. Suddenly, a column of five Tigers appeared, followed by several other Panzer Falls, half-tracks and self-propelled guns. One of the Tigers was in fact commanded by Michael Wittmann, the most famous German tank ace, nicknamed the Black Baron. Rad gave the order to hold fire. When the German tanks were only a mere 450 meters away, the Major gave the order and a squadron opened fire upon the column. The leading Tiger was immediately knocked out. Radley Walters also got stuck in the fight and managed to destroy one of the self-propelled guns. The German column moved off the main road and started rolling towards the woods south of Saint-Agnon. In doing so, they exposed the rear of the column to Radley Walters and his eight tanks. The 24-year-old tank ace knocked out another two Panzer Force and he also knocked out a Tiger tank. It is however possible that the entire platoon was responsible for knocking out these three tanks. When Radley Walters was knocking out tanks, one of the Tigers exploded, knocking the turret clean off. Michael Wittmann had been struck by a shell and his tank exploded. One of the most successful German tank aces was killed in action. There is still some debate on who killed Wittmann, but the most plausible cause is that one of Radley Walters' fireflies of A Squadron, Sherbrooke Fusiliers, knocked him out. Because of the heavy machine gun and anti-tank fire from both the Canadians and British tanks, the German SS counterattack collapsed and the ambush was over. When France was liberated, Radley Walters had been wounded twice. During the Normandy campaign, his tank was knocked out three times, but each time Rad survived the engagement. For his outstanding leadership in leading his squadron of tanks, he was awarded the Military Cross and the Distinguished Service Order. By that time, Major Rad already had an impressive score of 14 tanks knocked out. He wasn't only a good tank commander, he was an excellent squadron commander as well. The men under him had great respect for their commanding officer, as he was always stuck in the fight. He was always leading the column and showing his men how to get it done. By being on the front line with his men, he could also quickly assess the developing situation. When the squadron faced a loss, he was always the one comforting the men and encouraging them to move on. Another factor which made him so successful was the fact that he often shared his thoughts with his men and the men of other regiments. That way he gained a true insight in the tank and the situation, and that way he also knew where there was room for improvement. During the liberation of Belgium, A Squadron together with Major Sidney Valpy Radley Walters captured 200 prisoners at the Turnhout Canal. The tanks pressed forward and by November 2nd, 1944, they had reached the city of Breda in the Netherlands. He would participate in Operation Market Garden, where Rad and his regiment would break through and secure contact with the 101st Airborne Division. From the liberation of Belgium until the end of the war in Germany, Radley Walters would add another four tanks knocked out on his list, making a total of 18 tanks knocked out, the highest score for any Western Allied tank commander. In July 1945 he was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and so he commanded his regiment, the Sherbrooke Fusiliers, which was then a part of the occupation force. After the war, Rad went on peace missions to Cyprus and Egypt and in 1957 he became the commanding officer of the 8th Canadian Hussars, also known as the Princess Louise. He went to the NATO Defence College in Paris and was subsequently assigned to the Supreme Headquarters of Allied Powers in Europe from June 1961 to July 1962. He returned to Canada as Commandant of the Royal Canadian Armoured School located in Camp Borden. In 1966, he even became the Director General Training and Recruiting at the Canadian Forces Headquarters in the capital of Ottawa. Two years later in 1968, he was promoted to Brigadier General 
and he took command of the 2nd Combat Group at CFB Petawawa. The legendary tank commander of the Western Allies died on the 21st of April 2015 in Kingston, Ontario, at the age of 95. The year after, his wife Mary Patricia also died at the age of 95. Radley Walters was an incredible tank commander and a true soldier's soldier. He could quickly assess both the strengths and weaknesses of the tanks he was fighting with, but also from the tanks he was fighting against. He passed his knowledge on to the commanders under him, and with 18 tanks knocked out, he was the best tank ace on the Western Allied side. This was the Ace Destroyer, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can always subscribe to my channel for more. You can always leave a like, that way I can see which videos you want to see more of. Do drop a comment below, I love to read what you have to add. Cheers!